I'm Jeremiah McKinnon, and this is NEC News Today. Let's review some of the top cannabis stories from around New England that happened in 2022. 2022 saw both Vermont and Rhode Island launch their first adult-use cannabis sales to the public. In Vermont, sales began on October 1st, and in Rhode Island, sales began on December 1st, only seven months after Governor McKee signed adult-use legalization into law. Connecticut, not to be left out, has recently announced that they're also preparing to launch recreational sales January 10, 2023. New Hampshire tried their best to get some legislation passed, but to no avail, even forming a new political party. But for now, New Hampshire remains the only state in New England that hasn't legalized adult-use cannabis. The cannabis industry continued to mature in 2022, with many celebrities showing an interest in participating in the New England market, including Diddy, Big Poppy, Mike Tyson, Ricky Williams, Capadonna, Gary Payton, Montel Williams, and Freeway Rick Ross, with brands and products such as Big Poppy Sweet Sluggers, Heisman from Ricky Williams, and Inspire by Montel. Multiple state agencies saw a changing of the guard in 2022, including Chairman Hoffman leading the Massachusetts Cannabis Control Commission, Eric Gunderson leading the Maine Office of Cannabis Policy, and Andrea Comer and Michelle Siegel leading the Connecticut Department of Consumer Protection. In Massachusetts, the state legislature passed an omnibus cannabis bill in August of 2022 regarding community host agreements and the creation of a new social equity fund. Connecticut has also unveiled a low-interest cannabis loan program with $50 million in funding meant to encourage equity in the industry. Maine saw a major case decided by the First Circuit Court of Appeals, deeming its residency requirement as unconstitutional to limit medical marijuana licenses to only Maine residents. In December, Maine regulators announced that they will comply with the ruling and have determined to end residency requirements for caregivers as well. For more details on these stories, weekly cannabis product reviews, and more, please visit necnewstoday.com. Thanks for watching, and have a happy new year. We'll be back next week with our first regular newscast of 2023. For New England Cannabis News Today, this is Jeremiah McKinnon reminding you to always use cannabis responsibly and to enjoy your cannabis-filled adventures throughout New England.